Hey guys, this is Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to loop compositions and pre compositions in Adobe After Effects. So, I have a project file open, and currently, this project file, if I play it, it has a lot of looping animations happening over time within it. Now, I have another animation, which is a lumberjack chopping down a tree. You can see him play right here, just chops that tree down. And I want to insert him into this composition and have him continuously loop forever. But I don't want to have to copy paste him over and over again. So this tutorial is about how to loop that animation in another composition. Um, so that might as well be like looping a pre-composition or a composition, whatever. They're all the same thing. But without having to copy paste him over and over or redo the animation over and over. Now it's kind of a silly, complicated process, but I'm gonna walk you through it step by step. And if you do it exactly the way that I do it, you're not gonna have any blank frames of animation at the end of it, and you're gonna be able to loop something and extend it out for as long as you want. Now, this lumberjack is just made up of three frames of animation, and each frame is just showing and hiding. So one frame shows, then the next it hides, the next one shows, it hides, and the next one shows. That's it. Pretty simple pretty basic um, so the way that I can do this and there's a bunch of blank space at the end of my composition right now it's 10 seconds long I need to trim my composition to my animation size so to do that I'll scroll to the end of my animation and I'll press the in key and that's gonna bring my work area back to where my cursor is and or where my playhead is and now if I play it the RAM preview will actually loop this animation like I want it to be but that's not going to work when I put it into another composition. That's literally just previewing the animation over and over again. So what I need to do is trim this composition to be the size of my animation. So I'm going to right click on the work area and do trim comp to work area. So that will, it seems like it extended it out, but what it did was it trimmed my composition from 10 seconds to three seconds. So now my entire composition is only this guy chopping the tree down over and over again. Good. I'm done with this composition, so I'm going to go back to my full one. And this could be, if you just wanted to loop that composition out, you could just uh, duplicate it and put him in a new composition with the same settings, same size, same frame rate, and do the same process. But for me, I'm putting him into another composition, and we're going to loop him inside of this one. So I'm going to grab him from my project panel over here, drag him in and we're gonna find him. He actually doesn't exist because he's only three seconds long, so I need to drag my playhead back. There he is, and I'm gonna move him up a little bit. All right, so right now, if I play this, everything else loops, but this guy just plays once through, and then he goes away. So I want him to loop out for as long as I need him to loop out. So here's all the important steps I need to do right here. First, I need to right-click on this, and go to time and enable time remapping. Now that adds two keyframes. I need to navigate to this last keyframe. So I'm going to go backwards. Also J and K will go backwards and forwards through keyframes. So I know I'm on top of this one. If I hold control or command and press the left arrow, and I'll zoom in so you guys can see what happens here. I'm holding command on a Mac, control on a PC, press the left arrow to go back one keyframe. I'm going to add a keyframe here by clicking on the diamond over here. Now I have a new one. Now I'm going to double click on the last keyframe and it brings up the time remap properties panel. I'm just going to type in zero and hit OK. Now I'm going to click off and then click back on that last keyframe and I'm going to hit the delete key to delete it. Seems super weird, I know, but just follow along. Next, I'm going to hold Alt or Option and click on the stopwatch of the time remap property. And that's going to drop down the expression. We're adding an expression. I'm going to click the little arrow and it's going to pop open a menu in which I can find property and then loop out. I'm going to click that. That inserts that in here and now I can click off and it's attached to this time remap. And for now, it doesn't do anything. It does the same thing because right now it doesn't exist, but I can actually drag this out as far as I want, and we can zoom out a little bit. So I'm going to drag it out and extend it to well beyond my work area. And now if I play through this animation, my little lumberjack guy is going to loop through his animation as long as I have this extended out and I have the work area extended out.
So that is how you loop an animation or a composition or pre-comp in After Effects. Now the cool thing is I can actually use these two keyframes to speed up or slow down that animation. So if I want, right now the first keyframe, the last keyframe is the beginning and end of the animation. If I wanted him to chop down that tree super fast, I can actually drag this back to here and now he's going to be chopping down that tree over and over and over and over again really fast. Same thing works if I wanted to extend it out. I could extend it out further and it's going to chop it down way, way slower. But that's kind of fun way to uh, adjust your animations afterwards uh, to make sure they're timed up just the way you want them. Anyway, if you guys liked this video, like this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tutorials, and I'll see you next time.